Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So we'll go over to the charts. So firstly, this is what I want to show you guys. Just look at this, look how ridiculous this is. This is where the price is right now. And look at the line as it goes across. I mean, the Bitcoin price basically hasn't moved since the 11th of June. So seven days, a whole week of basically, trade, basically trading the same price. Um, we had to move down back up again. I mean, we've had a little moves around it, but you can see we've spent so much time at, at, at the exact same price. I mean, it is ridiculous. Um, and you, got, you guys will have heard me said low volatility leads to high volatility. So you don't get any lower volatility than this. Um, just, just look at it. Just look where we are now. Look at the line. Um, we get a move up. We come back down. We get a move down. We come back up. I mean, this move down here. We get this move up here, and we just find ourselves at the same level. Look here. The whole whole time, bit move up down i mean it's like every move up is almost has almost an identical move back down again as you can kind of see look it's just it's just ridiculous <laughs> they're proper messing with everybody here guys the market makers but eventually though eventually obviously all things come to an end one of these moves one of these spikes up or down is just gonna it's just gonna go for it and it's i think i think quite lightly um, we could get like a thousand dollar candle. I mean look at these candles we had here and we didn't we hadn't even had the same amount of I mean just look how, how much difference this price action looks. I mean just look at this compared to compared to this here. Just look at the difference compared to this here. Look at this. So if we got a move like this, which was from say nine and a half thousand to ten and a half thousand, a thousand that's a thousand dollar candle. And then we have <laughs> we have no volatility again. And then we have a move from ten thousand to well this is on BitMEX, but I mean we'll just call it nine thousand just because we had a bit of scam wicks. So ten thousand, that's another thousand dollar candle. Um, in the space of uh, the second of June at basically midnight and the 2nd of June at, well, 15 hours later. So in the same day, we then get a $1,000 move up and well, how can, yeah, because we only mentioned it was about 9,000, about a $1,000 move down. It's just ridiculous. So what can we expect? What can we expect now with this even lower level of volatility? I mean, in theory, it suggests um, an even bigger move. So. I mean, you could have said this at any point along this phase here. We then got the move down. I mean, this move, but then again, fully retrace. I mean, you could say at any point along here. I mean, we could we could keep trundling along, um, not doing anything. But it's just it becomes obviously the break will come. <laughs> so the further along we go, the closer we are to that break, whatever point it does come. So um, yeah, that, that's all we can really say regarding to that. But basically, we've got to, we've got something. We've got we've got to have a big move soon. And once we do start to break out this range, there's a lot of there's a lot of pent up, um, basically energy, um, ready to break out of this formation. So anyway, right, we will get rid of that. Right. So what are we looking at then? For our time frame, for our time frame, we are looking at. We are again operating underneath this some resistance, um, but like I said though, we're operating underneath it. We're holding it quite nicely. We tested down. We got straight back up to it. We, we wicked above it, but we're back here in this resistance now, and we're getting squeezed, squeezed by this trend line, <laughs> squeezed by the, squeezed by the no volatility. Um, and yes, I mean, what, 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 what can we really expect here? Have we got a bit of an inverted head and shoulders? playing like a bit of a funny looking one i mean either way we are we are operating off this level now and i think i mean these are the levels i mean breaking above breaking above here let's break above 9600 and it just it just has to, it has to i mean i can't see a stopping at this resistance and then obviously we've got the top of this trend line i mean i can't see us not going if we take out this level if we take out this level i can't see us not doing like a thousand a thousand points so a thousand points from 9600 is 10600 so i mean are we going to see a move straight up to here um straight up to here um and then decide what we want to do then but then don't forget guys that's a macro level um we could then break through that and then do another thousand dollars um so yeah i mean that's obviously that is the upside upside um view of that i think the downside um the downside is well the downside is not as tight um i think this is a clear divine defined level for the upside but i'm not as tight i mean what level would we really have to draw it? i think we'll just have to draw it at this sort of resistance line we've got here 
uh, support line sorry oh, I messed my charts up yesterday didn't I move this about a bit um, but yeah so um, probably need to try and try and sort it out but we lock this for the time being so we don't mess anything else up um, yeah so I mean this is sort of the level I'm thinking um, is is clearly um, is this zone so if we, if we break below here um, and more more than just a wick basis like we kind of did here but then obviously the wick base broke there broke there and then broke back up I mean if we get below here which is what we mean we can just call it around 9100 so it actually is relatively tight I mean if we look at it here I mean it's not it's it's, it's not far off equidistance I don't know why in my mind a minute ago I just thought um, this is not is not that tight but um, let me just sort that out there we go That's bugging me um, but yeah so I think I think the level really to call it is this level so I think if we get down to here um, get down to here then I think that will potentially trigger the downside in which case in which case the downside is just about as massive I think in which case I think we will then take out well just take out all these levels basically I mean we may initially only come down to this level but I think we'll break that and just end up coming down to around around 9,000 uh, sorry around 8,000 8,000 so I mean we're looking at a big move soon guys basically we are looking at a big move will it come today will it come tomorrow will it come to next will it come next week um I mean if if we haven't if it hasn't come before next Friday I will I will be very very shocked but I mean literally any point now any point now we're expecting a move it's difficult I mean again I keep saying it's hard to analyze the shorter term time frames and it's like at the moment especially it seems like picking up pennies in front of a steamroller because at any point this steamroller is going to come into the market and the market's just going to go nuts um so yeah I mean <laughs> It's a diff it is difficult. It's difficult, guys. Now, what to do? Really, one thing we got um, obviously four hours. Uh, four hours are cooling off, so that isn't bad. Now, four hours last night we're looking, we're coming down. Now we've come down, but price hasn't come down. So these are cooling off, and these then have got the room to move back up. Twelve hour stops is looking great. This is looking great here. If this start, if this gets going, then I mean, all bias for me has to be shifted to the upside. Um, yeah i mean i have a, an upside bias anyway <laughs> but yeah um just because of the formation and where we are overall in the macro trend not just because i just want bitcoin to go up but yeah i have a macro bias but what if we st if this starts to move up i mean last time this moved up look we got that big move from basically nine thousand well what was it about um we started to move up here so we got a move from under nine thousand all the way up to ten and a half thousand so if we start to move up again from this level here then what we're going to get a move from nine and a half thousand to ten and a half thousand and that's the macro range we can break through so yeah i think it's coming i think it's coming guys um yeah i think um i think we're, we're going to be in for the move soon we're at we're at the um the part of these formations where they're most likely to break out you often find statistically the closer you get to the actual end the 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 less good the actual projected moves are and the efficacy of the formation you kind of want these to break out around this part of the formation so literally where we are now and like the next week um tops is where we want to break out so this breaks this breaks coming i mean it's not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor nothing is certain nothing is certain but things are things things can be close to certain and i don't think price can stay here basically any any longer in in where it is in the macro trend where it is in this medium term formation where it is in the short term where it is in in, in daily volatility which is basically flatlined this is flatlined i mean when is this flat when is daily volatility flatlined like this before um i mean we did look the other day yeah basically about here this is the last time we flatlined as much as we did as much as we have now oh i need to needs to stop moving things about wait a minute let me just try and undo all this so in anything that i've um just messed up there gets unmessed up um right lock this <sighs> i don't know what that's doing there and he's moving uh, i saw this out after but anyway the last time we flat aligned this much was um was <laughs> where was it um well we sort of did it here a bit and then we had a big move but like here here is um here's a wait where was i 
Have we changed? Oh, sorry, that's what's happened. Sorry, I wonder why they're different. We changed time frames. Right, so back to the daily to look at where we flatlined like this before. So we're flatlining like this now. Where on the daily? Let's look back through. Let's look back through. Oh. Um, let's look back through. Um, so it's here. This is um, here is pretty much um, the last time we flatlined like this. So like what happened at this price point? I mean this price point was obviously when we dropped out of um dropped out of this descending triangle and we dropped from basically ten thousand down we dropped two thousand dollars. So we dropped two thousand dollars last time we had a had a um, had a consolidation like this. So that was in a descending triangle, funnily enough. So now we're in an ascending triangle, funnily enough, and we've got the same volatility signature on the daily. So are we gonna get a two thousand dollar move up? I mean are we going to get $2,000 move up guys? And that's from, um, yeah, from basically the top of this formation. So we're looking at um, basically, um, we're looking at like nearly $12,000 Bitcoin. That will smash this range. So, so that would make that would make sense. Well, I say would make sense. I mean, not that it would not, well, just, just enough that it would make sense. I mean, that it wouldn't look odd for it to happen, for us then to break up through this 10,500, get to this 11,500, wick through here, and then and then sort of um, have a bit of a retrace maybe down to here or consolidate or whatever we do afterwards just the initial pump the initial move I think could get us up to there so that's what I think we have got coming potentially to the upside and obviously the downside is is just as bad two thousand dollar move I think it will take us from where we are now to basic to this level here then potentially down to this sort of support zone here um, on an initial move and then we'll have to see where it then goes after that um, so yeah, um, definitely, definitely interesting times. Um, interesting times ahead, guys. So anyway, that's what, that's it for this morning. Um, yeah, so yeah, be, like yeah, be careful, be careful out there because we're expecting some fireworks. And um, I will speak to you guys later.